Let's go to Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 through 28. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou should not commit adultery. So adultery is having sex with someone that is married that you aren't married to. 28. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. So what this is saying to lust after a person is the same thing as having sex with that person. So what came to my mind and let me hit on that part there is motives. What are your motives? You see anyone can do good deeds for you but why are they doing it? What is their reasoning behind it? Yes, I can mow your lawn. I can shovel your snow. I can watch your kids. I can do so many good deeds for you. But what are my motives? Am I trying to lower your guard so that I can use you or manipulate you? Am I trying, am I doing good deeds for you so that I can use that later on to force you to do something more for me? What are your motives? You see, our motives, I believe, matters more than the good deeds that we do for people. Because if my motives are evil, won't my evil motives make my good deeds unrighteous? I believe so. So, my motives will make my good deeds unrighteous. Because the whole reason of me doing those good deeds is for self-centered reasons. For evil reasons. So, it is not about only doing good deeds. It is about motives. So God is looking at the heart. Yes, your good deeds are good from the outside, but the inside, what is going on? How is your heart? Why are you doing it? Are you doing it to use people? And some people do good deeds for others to use them. So do you believe that God is going to bless good deeds with evil motives? I think not. I think not. So really contemplate on this. So what we are thinking, what we are doing, what we are saying is supernatural. So even if you are not acting upon what you are thinking, you are still accountable on what you contemplate about. So don't think about anything <laughs> that is evil. Yes, of course, demons are going to try to place evil things in your mind. Yes. 
but you don't have to contemplate on it. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.